In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your calendar with your students. So you're going to go to your Google Calendar account and log in. Once you're in Google Calendars, over on the left at your calendars, you're going to hover over whichever calendar you want to share, and you're going to go to Calendar Settings. On calendar settings, we're going to scroll down kind of to the middle, and you've got two different options. If you have a classroom website, all you're going to do is take this embed code. You're going to simply copy it and paste it into your web page, and it's going to actually embed the entire calendar into your website. Uh, since many of you don't have classroom websites, what you're probably going to want to do instead is use the calendar address. If you haven't already changed your calendar settings, you're going to want to go to change calendar settings and make it public. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. So what we've got here are three different buttons. We're going to click on this blue HTML button. It's going to bring up a pop up which has the address to your calendar. All you've got to do is right click on that link. Then you're going to go to copy link address. You're going to click OK. And I've got a couple of different options. I can go to Edmodo if I'm using Edmodo with my students. Log into my Edmodo account. And in my class, so I am going to add a link. I'm going to paste that link in. I did Control V, but you can also right click and go to paste. If you click down here, it's going to add, what you may want to do is put calendar at the end of it. You're going to attach that link, and then in the body of the note, you can put here is a link to the class calendar for English 1. And I'm going to send it to my practice class, and then I'm just going to hit send and the link shows up for the students. So then when they click on that link, it's going to go to my calendar. And as a student, all they're going to have to do is down here in the bottom right hand corner, click on plus calendar. It's actually going to add that calendar to their account. And their cal your calendar is going to show up under other calendars for them. Since I'm still logged in as me, it's showing up as one of my calendars. But for them, it's going to show up under other calendars. Um, and then they'll be able to see all the events. So if I come to here, I can see all the vocabulary quizzes just for English 1. So I'm seeing all of the events. Another option, if you don't want to use Edmodo to send the calendar, Edmodo is a great way to do it because it's always going to be in there. So if students get added, it's always going to be in there. Um, but another option that you may want to use is a Google shortener. And the address for this is goo.gl. And when you come to this website, you're, you're going to get a little box where it says paste your URL here. So you're going to paste it. And then you're going to click shorten URL. And it gives you this shortened link that this is what you can now share with students. So you can put up on your board. You can make a, um, a handout. You can make a, a poster for your room. And this link is never going to change. So as students are added or deleted from your classroom, they can simply go to this link. Something else you can do with, especially if you have iPads, is if you click on this details button, it's going to give you a QR code. So now you can take that QR code and also put it on um, a poster or something that you can put up in your classroom, maybe along with the link just in case. Um, and the students can scan the QR code and it will take them directly to the classroom calendar. So this is a great way to have students access the agendas and informations and due dates for what's happening in class. Um, and to take that QR code, if you click on it, it will bring you to the image and all you have to do is right click, save image as, and save it and now in my folder there is my QR code and I can name it um, English English one calendar QR code so that I know that's what that count that QR code is for and then I can embed it into a poster for my classroom so that is how to share your uh, Google Calendar with your students.